TheBobbyPin.com. <laughs> TheBobbyPin.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Lauren, with TheBobbyPin.com, and we are here with Miss Brave Williams. How are you tonight? I'm amazing. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, no doubt. And I'm happy that we were able to catch up. I know that you're really busy, and you're currently on season four, three of R&B Divas LA. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that experience, reality TV, first time out. How's that feel? Um, honestly, I was just really honored that TV One thought enough of me and my story to want to include me with such an ultimate cast. Um, you know, those the the women, I just I learned so much from them, and I learned so much from them in the in the process. So I was just happy that they picked me to to be on the show. Yes, and you're on there with Lil Mo, who's also from Baltimore. Did you guys know each other before the show? We did. Um, we met a few times in different outings and different studio sessions. So it was kind of cool that, you know, having her there helped break the ice with the other divas. But um, so, yeah. Good, good. Now, we got to see uh, last week was your debut on the show. And those testimonials were interesting. No one said anything necessarily too negative, but they were a little skeptical. So... I guess my first question is, how did that feel, like, watching that? Because I'm pretty sure you didn't know, you know, what they were talking about in the testimonials. After I got over the initial shock of just like, oh, my gosh, just me on TV. <laughs> um, the testimonials, to me, they seemed um, relevant for that moment. You know, these women, they didn't know me. But at that moment, um, here's this new person coming into a, a, a group of women that already have a camaraderie. So I expected it. Yeah. Okay. You sound like you got tough skin. That's good. You have to, you know, you know, um, I've been in music for so long trying to um, break into and, and get more people aware of, of my just me as an artist. So um, it comes, you know, it comes with the territory. Good, good. So what was your biggest takeaway from doing TV from this experience? Wow, there were so many lessons. Um, one lesson that really did stick out was that. I know me personally, I had an idea of what I thought reality TV was going to warrant. You know what I mean? Um, but upon doing the show and now that it's over, I'm just, I was surprised to see that it's okay for you to be yourself. Do you know what I mean? I, I thought, I didn't know if I had to morph into something that I wasn't or try to be something more grand to look interesting. Um, but it wasn't that at all. It was like, okay, you can totally be yourself. And, um, just because you're in something doesn't mean that you have to be of it. Um, so I definitely walked away with that confidence. Good. So I got to meet you uh, at Baltimore FRM, and we did this, and I watched a couple of old interviews, and I love your bubbly personality. So describe Brave, if you had to take maybe three to five words. Who is Brave Williams? <laughs> fun, fun, and um, I don't know. I want to say fun. <laughs> I don't take things too seriously. Do you know what I mean? Um, fun, I'll say, and faithful. I will say that um, that's probably why um, a lot of times I can appear to be bubbly because I just I, I know where my energy comes from. Do you know what I mean? I pull from something greater. I know that's right. Yes. You you have to. I feel like in this industry, oh you got it. You so have to, which is probably why, like you said, when I saw the testimonials, I was like, OK, you know, <laughs> it, it comes with the territory. Yeah. Yeah. And you're one of 16 kids, right? I Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, and I all my brothers and sisters <laughs> out there, <laughs> all 16 of y'all. <laughs> um, I mean, my father with his, his first wife, he had 13 kids. And my mother, he had three. So, you know, the, the other 13, um, it, was, it was really cool just because I always had older people around. Do you know what I mean? My father, um, rest in peace, he passed away at 85. So when he met my mother, she was 19 and he was 51. So I was always raised around um, just older siblings and kind of like that older spirit. Um, but it was an awesome experience, it, which is probably why I was also to feel comfortable um, to come into a new group like the Divas. Do you know what I mean? Because I come from a big family. Um, so I'm very familiar with dynamic personalities. So you're a very creative person. You paint and you started off uh, doing spoken word and rapping and all of these things. So does your creativity come from being a part of such a big family? Wow, um, I think things like that are are birthed into you. Do you know what I mean? I think that, because um, I really, I have no recollection. All I can remember is that at six years old, seven years old, eight years old, I was making my family sit around and listen to my poems. I was drawing pictures to match my poetry, and I was doing spoken word, not knowing it was spoken word, not knowing it was rapping, but I needed my family to watch. So it was like, you know, and when you're at that age, 
that's not something that um that can be given to you. Do you know what I mean? So I guess that it, it I mean it was just God given. That's awesome. So how did you come to music? I turned one of my raps into a song. I didn't know I could sing. I had no clue because I was always rapping and, and always on spoken word. Um, it wasn't until I turned one of my raps into a song where I really just kind of stumbled upon my voice like, oh, wow, like you can kind of sing. Do you remember the song? Oh, my gosh, I do. And it's so bad. <laughs> you know I'm going to ask you to do it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is so funny. It's called Cocoa Butter, okay? I might have... <laughs> it went, um... It went... Coke... A butter... Yo, yo. I said Coke... A butter... Yo. Can I be... Your favorite cream... That you rub on... Your body... <laughs> like, it was like... It went like what I'm talking about, putting on lotion. Like, I don't know, cocoa butter. How, how old were you when you came up with this song? Because that's pretty jazzy. It, you know, I, I, maybe I was like, I might have been like 15. I might have been like 15. 15 to 16. I don't know what I was talking about. But I was like, oh, this is a hit. I think you were right. That You were wanting something. You know what I mean? Hey, hey. <laughs> Cocoa butter. <laughs> Maybe get me a cocoa butter commercial. <laughs> Be like, Palmer's. You know. Hello. Andy. You know. <laughs> Tell me about Fearless. Um, Fearless has is like my is it's my baby. Um, I've been working on it for a really long time, but I really just attested um, to timing is everything. You know what I mean? I wanted to put it out last summer when I um, put out Ooh Love Ya, but I'm so happy that I didn't because then I fell into the show. So now I'm kind of um, just strategically uh waiting for particular episodes to occur to you know release it to the world yeah because this is all about you know it's all about sharing and, and making sure people actually hear and, and and get to your music um i think that's why i'm just i'm so honored that tv one allowed me to be on the show because i know i'll be able to do that now good good i'm so excited to hear more because i really love ooh love ya Thank it's you. such a fun song we get to hear you do uh you know your urban hip-hop sort of chant thing at the beginning and then we get to hear those vocals uh, for me that was like the perfect that was the perfect marriage of hip-hop and r&b for me like i was when i heard the track i just fell in love because it gave me that nostalgic feeling um nice and smooth we flipped that beat and there you have it love you so tell me more about the brave sound like what do you think sets you apart from any other artist that's out right now um like i said my, my background i started out rapping so to me, that is my first love. Like, I love to rap. I love to do spoken word. Um, this project is the perfect marriage of, of that with the singing. So because I love to rap, my ear always goes to those, those old school beats. Um, but it's for me finding a way to make those old school beats current and make them new and, and make them um, fun. So I, definitely on this project, there's something on there for everybody. There's It's about relationships. It's about breakups. It's about having fun with your girls. There's something on there for the guys. The visuals are there for the guys. <laughs> we just shot the video to the next um, single called Fearless. Um, and it's really, really sexy. Yeah. I was just about to ask what's your next single. So, okay. What makes it so sexy? What's the subject matter? Fearless. That could mean tons of things. Well, the, the, the single's called Road Trippin'. Um, and just the whole tone of the song is very mysterious and it's deep and it's dark and it's kind of like, Ooh, Love You was like the fun, the bubbly, like that's who I am. And then Road Trippin' is like the evil stepsister. <laughs> but, you know, as artists and just as women, we have so many different sides to us, you know what I mean? So um, it's definitely one side of Brave, but um, I thought it was important to to share that, you know, that vulnerability, that that honesty. Okay, so we know that you come from the group Rich Girl, um, and you know you guys did some really amazing things. You got to open for Beyonce, and you did um, different things for NBA and the WNBA. So it's really big things, even though the group didn't exactly take off um, the way we had all expected. So what do you think you took from that experience that's going to make you a better solo artist now? Oh man, there were so many things. I feel like I needed I needed to experience that group to understand the type of stamina you need as an artist to want to succeed. Um, for me, that was like my high school, my college training. 
Do you know what I mean? Um, it totally prepped me just for the type of hard work. People don't understand the type of work that goes into being an artist. You know, they just think, oh, you have a song and, oh, you look cute and get up on stage. And it's like, no, some, you know, the long hours, the sleepless nights. Um, it's a real, it, it takes a type of heart to really want to continue pursuing, it, especially after having um, a group. I wouldn't say that it failed, but it, it didn't do, like you said, what I anticipated it to do. So for me, it just, it, it just taught me um, that music is not um, a sprint. It's it's a marathon, and you really have to have stamina if you if you want to do it. Name three artists you would like to work with in the future. Three artists: um, Kendrick Lamar. Oh, sorry, and why? Um, I respect his honesty. I feel like Kendrick brings something to music that. It just it takes me back to those days where I would sit up and write poetry and just be completely honest and 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 no second guessing of being judged or anything. He represents that to me. Um, J. Cole, mm, a lot for the same reason as well. He talks about the things that I talk about with my friends, um, but he does it so eloquently on his records that I I respect him. Um, and Kanye, I just appreciate him just as an artist. To me, he's not scared to. Um, he's not. He take. He takes a lot of risks, and he's not scared to to fail out loud. Do you know what I mean? Like, I admire that type of ambition in in artists. So those would be my top three. That's an amazing top three right there. Um, <laughs> Make it into existence. No, that's right. You guys, you hear this? I would love to hear something like one of those collaborations has to manifest. Like, yeah. we want that. Your her fans want this. <laughs> you guys gotta make sure you, you tweet that like hey j cole check out at be more brave <laughs> yes okay so um who else are you listening to right now oh man honestly i have a uh, opera singer right now in the car playing by the name of lucia i think it's p-o-p-p i can't even spell it but it's something french um and she's amazing like i i've just i've I'm in this phase right now where I'm um, really desiring inspiration because I just want to get back in the studio and finish this project. So it's like a plethora of stuff. Before I would listen to her, it was Slum Village in the car. Like I'm a huge Slum Village fan. Um, I'm I, my my music is it's a it's a big plethora of of different genres and different people. Awesome. Um, and it's funny you mentioned inspiration. I was gonna ask that because you, as a songwriter, um, where do you draw your inspiration from? Excuse me. Um. Wow, people. I'm 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 very much a people person. Circumstances, situations, um, breakups, pain. I think you can find inspiration in in anything. You know what I mean? If you actually are open, um, artists sometimes you can we can we we I feel like we go through roller coasters where you can just be inspired, 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 and then you can come into a drought. It's like ah, and it's a scary place to be in. Um, so I always keep my eyes open and, you know, conversations, even this, do you know what I mean? Just, I mean, even how I was welcomed when I came in here, that was inspiring. Like, you know, coming back home to Maryland and seeing like people doing great things, like that's inspiring. It's, it's everywhere. You have such a sweet energy, a sweet personality. So you guys, every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Um, East Coast time. Um, TV One, R&B Divas LA. Make sure you watch and support your girl, Brave Williams. It's going to be an awesome season. There's some beautiful women on that show, and they'll definitely take you um, for a ride. They will. <laughs> we all will. So definitely tune in and watch. <laughs> Very active on my social media. Hit me um, at Be More Brave, B-M-O-R-E-B-R-A-V-E. -E. That's my Instagram and Twitter. Um, Facebook, everything is Be More Brave. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Brave Williams, and right now you're rocking with thebobbypin.com. Thebobbypin.com.